Hello everyone, I'm Bodine Victoria. Welcome to my kitchen and this is my pot. I love the way that you've been interacting with me on your social media through Facebook and Instagram. If you haven't, my handles are at Boudin Victoria and at Boudin Pot Show on both of those platforms. So today, we're going to take it back to some Bahamian basics. I am just going to show you so many of the things that make up Bahamian cooking. But of course, I'm going to do them my way. And this series, as usual, is sponsored by Showman Evistro. Bring the world to your door with Showman E Bistro. Order online at showmanebistro.com and feed your family of four seven meals per person or more with Showman's easy to use meal kit ingredients where you can create your favorite international and local food items. And of course, you can support a family in need through Showman's partnership with Hands for Hunger. They also ship to the family island, so send some love to your family. Order on showmanebistro.com. We're going to be doing something that many of you have asked me for repeatedly. We're going to take our tenderized conch, we're going to take our, I don't want to say burnt, but our parched flour or our browned flour and we're going to combine them with some fish stock to make something that is absolutely amazing. So let's get this recipe started. We're going to start with a clean pot and our pot is going to be on medium low to very low because we are going to brown our flour. We no more than a cup of flour. This is actually going to give us a pretty thick, a very, very thick stew conch. And now all we're going to do is allow it to toast and as you allow this to toast and notice that i say toast toast patiently it's not going to taste like burned flour it's going to have the signature taste of a stew if you want a very light colored stew you can actually move it from this color but i want this to toast just to a, a bit more brown now my flour is at the desired color of brown that I wanted for my stew. So I'm going to turn the stove off. It's about 10 minutes later. I'm going to turn the stove off and then I'm going to take all of this flour out and I'm going to put it into a glass or ceramic bowl. It is going to be extremely hot. Do not get it onto your hands um, because it will burn. And we're back. So now I have the stove at medium heat. I'm going to take one tablespoon of oil, just one. And now we're going to add half a cup of onions. You can add more depending on how much onion flavor you want, but I'm just gonna do half a cup. Now that our onions are just a bit translucent, I'm going to add sweet potato. You can use regular white potato, but I'm using sweet potato today. And I have them coarsely chopped because I mean, that's what I want. And I'm also gonna add our carrot. I'm gonna turn the stove down just a little bit because we want them to cook, but we don't want them to burn. I'm gonna add just about half a tablespoon of garlic, crushed garlic. And I'm gonna add a teaspoon of dried thyme to this because I wanna unleash the flavors and I'm going to put the bay leaf and I'm also going to sprinkle this with a little bit of salt just for the potatoes and the carrots maybe about a teaspoon not too much the brownness that's what you want where we're going to add just about maybe a quarter cup of water to steam the vegetables out cover it and we're going to let this simmer for about five minutes until the carrots and the potatoes are almost soft. While that's simmering, I wanna show you a little trick. So this flour that we kind of toasted a bit earlier, you're going to separate it by about half into a bowl. Why are we separating it? Because suppose this is too much and it's too thick, then we don't necessarily want to have to 
take some out and take some of the conch flavor out of what we're cooking. We can always save the remnant for later. I'm going to add just a little bit of water and we're going to dilute this a bit. Kind of balls inside their stew. This is the reason why, okay? And if you look, you're going to see that the flour started to absorb all of the water. So we're going to add a bit more water and we're going to dissolve it a little bit more. Now these little white bits of flour, they are also going to dissolve while they're in the stew. So I'm not necessarily overly concerned about these, okay? Now, let's check out our potatoes and carrots. Our potatoes and carrots are going to be just where we need them, but we wanna cook the flour out a little bit because we want them to have the flavor without the potatoes and carrots being a little bit too um, soft. So this is the first step. We're gonna put all of this brown flour in and we're going to let this simmer. Guys, please, man, let your stew simmer. And if you look, it automatically just soaked up everything. So keeping your pot on low is gonna be important. Additionally, if you look, it's harder to stir. And that's because the heat is expanding the particles inside the flour. And so you need to work very fast from here. Now, I forgot to take my fish stock out of the freezer for this recipe. And so my fish stock is a bit frozen. And I'm just gonna throw some of my fish stock in here. I made this um, with some gupa skin and gupa bones. Um, a while back and then I just keep it in the freezer for when I need it. So just going to throw our group of stock in here. And now I want us to look at our stew. This so I'm just going to add a teaspoon of salt. I know sometimes when I'm sprinkling it looks like it's more than a teaspoon but I have a very good eye and I've been doing this long enough. Our stew gravy is boiling and now we have our two cups of conch given to us courtesy of Showman E Bistro. And here's what's going to happen. This is going to reduce, as it reduces, the taste of the conch is going to infuse into the flour. There we go. And to brighten it up, I'm just going to add some lime juice, as I always do. And again, ladies and gentlemen, the key to a good stew conch is actually cooking it while it simmers. So you don't want the conch to be hard. You kind of want to coax it to be nice and tender. So when we come back, we're going to have a fully cooked and delicious stew conch. And just like that, our dish is done. I know a whole lot of you have been asking about stew conch and look, it is not that difficult and I'm so happy to be able to bring that across to you. Here's what I want you to do now. I need you to tell me, would you grits, Johnny Cake, or potato bread the stew conch? Because from what I know, I know some people add the potato bread to the stew fish, but I'm feeling like potato bread and the sweetness of the stew conch is where it's at. I just say it, but that's just me, okay? <laughs> so leave that in the comments. I wanna say thank you so much to my sponsor, Showman E Bistro, for all of the ingredients that I used in today's episode. I have their website tagged in the description box, and I wanna say thank you to you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to leave me a comment, and then you can click the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. But most importantly, share this with your friends and family who live at home and abroad. Let's keep Bahamian culture alive through food. And until next time, don't let any and everybody dig up in your pot.